Cisco UCS Central Globalization of VLAN vSANs, and Local Service Profiles. Cisco UCS Central introduces the globalization feature, which enables you to move or globalize local service profiles from Cisco UCS Manager into Cisco UCS Central. This enables you to deploy and use UCS Central in a legacy software environment. Prior to globalizing a service profile, you'll need to globalize the VLANs and vSANs referencing the service profile. Register your UCS domain to Cisco UCS Central and add it to a domain group. In this demonstration, the domain is in the domain group root. The first step is to globalize VLANs and vSANs. In the actions bar, type globalize VLAN vSAN. Select the desired domain group from which you want to globalize the VLANs and vSANs. The desired domain group location and the permitted org for VLANs. Click Evaluate. UCS Central performs an evaluation to identify any conflicts for the VLANs vSANs that you're trying to globalize. Click View Configuration Status to view the progress in the Configuration Status window. The globalization view shows the list of globalization tasks and displays the VLAN vSAN and any policy conflicts. Click on the VLAN, vSAN, or policy tabs to view details of the tasks. If there are any VLANs or vSANs you don't want to globalize, Remove them from the list by selecting each one, then click Remove. Click Start Globalization. Click Yes. Please note that any VLANs or vSANs in conflict will not be globalized. The globalization will show in progress and will show a successful when completed. From the menu bar on the left side, click VLANs to see all the VLANs that have been globalized. The next step is to globalize the local service profile. In the actions bar, type globalize local service profile. Read the prerequisites and advisory content, and from the domain drop-down, select the domain for the local service profile. Then select the local service profile you want to globalize. Click Evaluate. The globalization view shows the status of the evaluation, and if there are any conflicts between UCS Manager and UCS Central. Click View Configuration Status to view the progress in the Configuration Status window. After the evaluation is complete, the Globalization view displays Pool, Policy, or Advanced Policy Conflicts, if any. Advanced Policy Conflicts occur when a policy references another policy. For this demonstration, there are two policy conflicts. For each conflict, the status column displays the details and provides a link to resolve the conflict. Click Change Resolution to open the Resolution Conflict window. You can resolve a policy conflict by cloning it with a new name or by referencing an existing policy in UCS Central. To clone with a new name, enter a new name for the policy in the New Name field and click Resolve Conflict. 
the policy conflict is resolved successfully. When referencing an existing policy, if the values of the policy are different from the local policy, create a new name for the policy to clone it and make it a new policy in UCS Central. Since there are no advanced policies, there are no conflicts. You cannot globalize a local service profile if there is a conflict. After any conflicts are resolved, click Start Globalization, then click Yes. Click the status icon to view the configuration status and globalization status details. Once the globalization is complete, click Close and verify that the local service profile is successfully globalized.